guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we are in Alain, and this I'm standing right in front of Alain Zoo. It was uh, founded by Sheikh Zayed bin Al Nahyan, the father of the nation, 50 years ago in 1968. Today it's celebrating, this year it's 50 years of celebration. This is the biggest wildlife park in the Middle East, spanning over four kilometers of area and more than 500 species all over. So let's go and check this out. We just got in the entrance and we had a good offer from Groupon. I can you can you guys can check that out as well. And we're just walking towards the portal where we're gonna get our four by four cars and sorry, experience the safari that Olain Zoo offers for a premium. It's around 1050. Here we are on the Lane Safari. We have the truck and the two, two SUV. So you will go by the SUVs. We are going to Al Ain Safari, the largest man-made safari in the world. What we open now, only the African safari. Most of the animals are endangered species or extended from the wild life. Our goal is the conservation and we'll see how these animals live together, how these animals are, how is the goal for us to protect the animals and the wildlife. Welcome to safari. So which is the first animal we'll see? I don't know, because we are going to the wildlife. So we are discovering the area. We have the two gates for the safari. The animals are very smart, they know there is a gap here. Oh, okay. That's why we have the two gates for our safety. When the car goes inside, we will not open the gate until we close the behind gate. Now it's hot season, so we'll see most of the animals under the shade. Okay. The shade is the air condition for them. Yes, of course. And the area was the landscape, so we designed the area as a team, right. as the African team. This is an African Rex. the giraffe so good yeah Aisha can do it wow that's so cool the biggest migration in the world wildebeest in Africa kudu this is the fastest gazelle New antelopes, this ones are called sable. No, these are the impalas, right? These 
these are the African white rhinos which run up to 60 kilometers and are very aggressive mostly. Did they attack rhinos? They're over there, right? We have a car, same as a cage. Okay. So it will enter to that exhibit. Okay. And the guest will be inside the car to feed the lion. It's oh. the opposite. The human inside, the animals are outside. Oh, okay. And this will be, inshallah, inshallah, in December, it will be available. Oh, great. So basically, you can watch the lions eat. Yep, and there is a message like when we, when we like people look to the lion, how yeah. they are aggressive because a lot of people who raise these lions in the houses, yeah. and then they don't know how dangerous they are. Here they have a chance to look to them while they are eating, and up up to you and around you, it's really aggressive. Yeah, that's what the wild animals are. Yep, not to be tamed. Not we, to be trained. We saw it in the TV, we saw it from the far, far distance. Yes. Here, it will be you are with them. You're experiencing them. Yeah, and yeah. you see how they are aggressive. Yeah. The car will be entered to this area. The car will be in this area, right? Yep. And you will see the latest. One of them under the bed. I can see one right there. There, there, one right there. Oh, one there. Yeah. yeah. And these are the cubs. Now they are nine months. The nine months. So these fencing over here are called smart fencing. Basically they're six meters deep yep. and a slope so they never the animals cannot come on this side. But for us it makes an illusion that they're directly in front of us. And uh, before La Aisha's favorite animal is baby zebra. But leopards uh, do not attack uh, bigger animals, right? The cheetah, sorry, yeah. All right, guys, so that was the safari experience, the African safari to be specific. And it is really cool to actually come over here and do this in UAE itself. I mean, uh, Alain Zoo before was only like uh, a typical zoo, what you would think about, but now they're turning into a safari, and this is the biggest man made safari in the world. And you have two options one is the 4x4 and the other one is that truck which seats 24 people so you have two options to take that and experience the safari and obviously the wildlife in their habitat and they're doing a big expansion so they're going to bring in the asian safari elephants and all the arabian safari also is going to be next so hopefully we will see that by december some of them and by next year i think this place is going to be a must-see place it is still a must-see place but I, th I think I'm gonna come again with the whole family and experience it again so let's go and check out what else is there to watch just fell so we came to the first side room but now she's feeling better so let's continue with our safari
All right, I just wanted to talk to you about the white line which is right behind me over there. Uh, it is actually from the savanna and it is from Africa. It's just a little color pigmentation which they have and that's it. But they are one of the most poached lions of all, the white lion. It's not an albino as such, but it is like a recessive gene which has uh, been in the lions for many, many years. In some of the, it's a rare thing, but it's just a beautiful animal and it is very rare to see one. And I think uh, this is the only place in the Middle East which actually has a white lion. So that was the white tiger. Uh, the color is basically a genetic default in the pigment and that's the reason why they don't have that color. They are not albinos. The thing which surprised me the most is that they actually don't exist in the real, it, uh, I mean in the wild. It's just in captivity. So you can only find white tigers in captivity and not real because they have been hunted down and yeah, that's what I for. And he's helping us <laughs> quickly go to the ocean of Raja. Alright guys, so it is getting dark already and I think I have covered most of the area. Uh, but I am still uh, not done with this place. They still have a kids area, there is a bird uh, watching area, but I think that's going to be indoors. So... Uh, yeah, I will go and check it out. Basically all the birds 
I mean, it is very nice that we actually chose this to be the last place and uh, it has indoor lighting so I guess it's uh, pretty decent and uh, it was a little humid outside so it's pretty cold over here and uh, yeah the birds are outside and you can actually enjoy the waterfall right there all right let's check it out guys so for me this has been an amazing place to come there's a lot to see and I'm sure that I haven't even scratched the surface with recording everything over here I mean I'm traveling with the kids so it becomes a little difficult but they do have uh, shuttle services and other services that you can take I myself uh, had a lot of fun over here there's a lot to see as a family so I'm and the staff is amazing very helpful so guys please do come down over here and enjoy your time at Aline Zoo. I hope you like this video. Please like the button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. And do whatever you do. Don't forget to do all local, not local. Ciao.